Hi Aquarius, I am here to do your reading for late December. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you are close to somebody, I could be picking up on their energies instead of yours. Okay, so let's see what spirit animal would like to come out for you during this time. Beautiful, you have the dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. That is such a nice card. Okay, now let's take a card from the Moonology deck. And don't forget to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for a more complete picture. Okay, here we go. A new romantic cycle begins. Well, this sounds like it might just be a lovely time. Mm-hmm, it does. And now let's get your overall energy. And I would also like to thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Whoa, okay. Well, that was fast. Your support helps in a lot of ways. A couple of them. It helps me to know if what I'm doing is helping you, which is my goal. And the other is it helps the channel to grow. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. Okay, now your overall energy is the page of air. Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, and exciting intellectual challenge. Brilliant insights. Information that you need but might be a challenge to receive. Review all documents carefully. So any or all of these could be your overall energy. And I find it kind of interesting that this is here because this is definitely heart-centered, you know, a new romantic cycle. Be loyal to what you love. Could be both, but you would think that might be heart-centered as well. And this is definitely head, <laughs> you know, very logical. But let's get some cards and find out some more about what's going on. This could be a very interesting reading. Mm-hmm. Okay, beautiful, whoops, and I'm throwing them. Beautiful energy, the Ten of Cups. This means you and everybody you love are very happy and content. So that's a beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what else. Well, we have three that want to come out, okay? This one, let's get these over a little. The Queen of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. I love that energy. She is very balanced. Her career side is very lucrative. She does that side extremely well. Her home side is very loving. She does that very well. She has found a way to divide up these two sides beautifully. Okay? And for those of you who have tried to do this, you know, have a family at home and work, have your career, you know what a challenge it can be. So it's wonderful. It's wonderful energy to have. And then next you had the um, Eight of Wands, which means very fast, positive, moving energy. So somewhere during this time frame, there's either going to be a portion or potentially all of it that's going to move very quickly. And then you have the hermit, which means you're going to be going in to find enlightenment. It could be spiritual, but it could be anything. Something that you feel the need to find enlightenment on. Okay, let's get another card. Okay, you have the star energy, beautiful energy. It is a powerful energy. It's time for inspired action, channeled through your authentic self. Be open to possibility and stay true to who you are, okay? Have faith and trust in the universe, and you will share in its gifts and blessings. They also say that the star energy is a good omen. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, I can fit this in here, is the Queen of Wands. 
and she is, I like this energy. She's a good energy. She is very, very social. Um, she's like a social butterfly. She leads a very busy life, making connections with others. Courageous, confident, and determined. And she's unafraid to speak up and be heard. So this is a beautiful energy. So far, every energy out here is very nice. So let's see what else we get. Okay, so let's go just a little bit deeper. But so far, this is an excellent reading. A new beginning. This is one that is filled with love, happiness, and joy. Another wonderful energy. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is a give and take energy. One where you want to share with others, others want to share with you. And it's also about balance. Okay? Okay. Let's get another card. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Okay, this is where you are defending something. And potentially to the point of injury. Not necessarily physical injury. But, you know, you are very adamant about defending whatever this is in your life. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the star card again. You have it here and you have it here. So that's absolutely beautiful. It's the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said. And interestingly, you know, right there is something that you're defending. And you have the star card on either side. And here you have the Queen of Wands. Who is determined, unafraid to be heard, very social. Here you have a card of balance, give and take. You know, so it's kind of surrounded by some pretty powerful cards that have some deep meanings, okay? Now remember with the star card... If you have faith and trust in the universe, you will share in its gifts and blessings. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute and see what we come up with. Your first card, the dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. Okay, and I believe that relates to this. You are being loyal to what you love. And over here, a new romantic cycle begins. I don't see any other cards here other than potentially this one that would make reference to that. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Of course it exists. And your overall energy, logical, perceptive, and insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents carefully. Okay? So, um... It's a very head-based, logical energy. And I'm looking through your cards, and you have some energy that really would apply, like this is balance, but you know she had to use some logic as well as her heart to achieve this, okay? But now this... Your very first card is that you and everybody you love are very content, very happy. Here, it's one of balance, but also being very content and very happy with your career and your home life. Very fast-paced energy of a positive nature. Here, you're going in to find enlightenment about something that you wish to know. Here, you have the star card twice, and that is a powerful energy. Here you have the Queen of Wands, and that's a strong energy too. She's very determined, extremely social, but she's also unafraid to speak up and be heard. A new beginning, one of love, happiness, and joy. 
and it comes out right underneath the you and everybody you love are very happy and content, which comes out right underneath the dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. So all of these in this column, I can see going together beautifully. So I think over here, it's a very strong energy. One that includes you defending something and you have no plans on stopping. And when I see this, I look over here, you know, the defense part. But this also talks about communication, right? I think we should take a card for the Nine of Wands. But that is the only card you have in this whole spread that could has the potential to be a negative. And it, you know, might not be. It might be that you're defending something that you consider worthy of defending. But to the point of injury, there should be some sort of change. Okay. So let's take a card for that and see what we get. But yeah, this is uh, actually quite a lovely reading. Okay. This one did the jump out, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is about love and creative endeavors. But I would say in this case, definitely love because you have a new beginning that's about love, happiness, and joy. Be loyal to what you love. Um, new romantic cycle begins. So it looks like you're defending something that you love. And this tends to be the romantic kind of love. I don't think it has to be, but that's what it tends to be. So it probably does have something to do with you defending something that you love, potentially or probably to do with romance. Okay? So, big picture here. <laughs> You are being loyal to what you love, and you're defending it, okay? It looks like a new romantic cycle might very well be beginning. Either that, or maybe it's a resurgence of one that you're currently in, okay? And I get the feeling that whatever this is, it's getting straightened out because of the cards that we have here. You're going inside to figure it out. And you have very fast, positive moving energy. And over here, you are being loyal to what you love. You're having a new beginning with joy, happiness, and love. And everybody you love is going to be very content and happy. Okay, so it's actually a very nice reading. You might have a moment where, you know, you feel like you have to defend something. However... I do believe that is um, changing. Here you have um, give and take, which is a balance energy. And here, it's a wonderful energy, but also it's balance. Now you have two star cards, which are very positive, very good. And that's the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. There's balance here. See the one foot in the water, one on land? That's balance. And it says here that you need to be your, your authentic self. So if there's anything there where sometimes you feel like you're not being, you might want to pay attention to that. Okay. Very strong, very social, unafraid to speak up and be heard. So it looks like you might have a moment of feeling like you need to defend something, but that it all works out beautifully. Okay? Yeah. Beautiful, balanced, happy energy and a new beginning of love, happiness, and joy. So, like I said, it's either a new romantic cycle or this makes me think it might be bringing this love that you already have back to life, okay? So let's get some cards from the universe and see what they would like to share. Well, we have two that wanted to jump right out. Okay. First one is the King of Swords. 
And the King of Swords rules from a place of authority. And he bases all his decisions on what he knows to be truth. And I can see how that could make reference to this card. Mm -hmm. Next, you have the King of Pentacles, which is a wonderful energy. That is an energy of having the Midas touch. You know, it's like the ultimate business owner. Whatever it may be, you know, writing a book, creating your own business, creating a product, whatever it is. It has a wonderful chance of becoming quite lucrative. Okay? The Midas touch. Wonderful energy. And you could also add in there that, you know, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Both. And so you could take this a little bit further and bring it over here to the relationship. Be a beautiful relationship. Okay, let's get one more card. Page of Pentacles. All right. The Page of Pentacles talks about you building resources and taking care of what you have. Okay? So it looks like this is going to be a time where you are very loyal to what you love. Putting in time and effort towards that. But also, you know, having and using the logical side. But making for sure that love is center. You know, it's very important during this time. And also, don't forget, you have very fast, positive, moving energy. So somewhere in here, either part of it or all of it, is going to be fast moving. So just... Letting you know. Be prepared, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups, which means you are going to be very happy and content with your life. So it's really nice. You have both the Nine and Ten, okay? So that means not only are you going to be very happy and content, but so is everybody that you love. Let's get a chat. And I never look, and this is where I get peace sometimes. No, look at this. It's a huge, beautiful butterfly. So this is a very transformative time for you. Okay? Transformation is definitely coming to you. Wonderful. Okay, thank you so much. I'll talk to you again soon. Much love. Bye.